I got called to jury duty this morning, uh, wherein I was uh, required to watch a 25-minute orientation video made by the New Jersey justice system. Very riveting stuff, I'll tell you. <laughs> I fast-forwarded through it. I was very smart, always. Really? Oh yeah, I was super smart. People used to cheat off my tests and then fail. <laughs> I would tell people, I would tell people I've been studying for the whole week, just cheat off my test and they all fail too. <laughs> so it was a, a true story. We're on our way to fly to Denver. Uh, Gem and Mineral Convention is going on. So we're gonna be there for a couple of days, checking it out, going to the Rockies, probably. And uh, I have a bunch of stuff I need to take care of there. One of the things that's pretty, pretty cool is that I know all of the people kind of on the back end of the industry. So it's nice to go there to the general conventions to Tucson, Denver, and see like people that I only get to see once or twice a year. We typically don't do much uh, buying at any of these shows because we're a wholesale distributor. You know, mostly this, these shows are gonna be good at like, if you're a collector is the best. Some people like to try to go there and buy for their retail shops, uh, which could work, but uh, if I see like pieces that I love, like collection pieces, I might buy those kinds of kinds of pieces. Uh, or if it's someone that I know that's out there and they're like, I don't feel like taking my material back to whatever country I'm from. Uh, do you want to buy my booth out? I've done that in the past, so sometimes we buy people's booths out. Um, but it'll be really interesting because, you know, when people see me show up, they think I'm just some like random person. Uh, it's happened to me many times where I was interested in buying big in people's booths and they treated me as if I was like there to buy like a $10 rock. It's one of those things where, you know, you need to really, anybody who, you don't know who's showing up in your booth. If you're doing these gem shows, you really don't know who's showing up and, and what's going on. So I think it's really important that you, you know, if you have a customer, because you're there to sell your stuff, if you have a customer coming into your booth, treat them like a customer. This is the New Jersey Turnpike that we're on right there. And actually I was born right in that swamp over there. See, there's a little swamp. Yeah, in the New Jersey Turnpike swamps. That's how you know you're like real New Jersey. Good morning. Good morning. You don't remember me? I do remember you. <laughs> Where were you from? New Jersey. It's Keystone, right? Uh-huh. It's half of whatever's on here, and I just give you a flat, and you just fill it up. Or get as much as you want. Yeah. Whichever pieces you would like. OK. You want to do that? Yes, sir. What is really great for me to to look for and to find here is stuff that is U.S. mined, people who are mining their own stuff, smaller, more uh, humble kinds of booths like this where I can actually get material that like the only way I could get it is from the miners. It's really nice. These people are su super nice. I've bought from them a few years now and uh, it's just it's hard because like I've, I've said in previous videos, usually when you're buying directly from miners, especially US based miners, everything is so expensive. Like for example, this rock right here is a $26 rock. So it's gonna be a little bit difficult for me to get kind of more than that. But I know that I, I'm qualified to kind of high grade this material, go through it and see what I, I can get for people who 
uh, will be interested in, in this material. So that's what me and Max are doing right now, is we're trying to find stuff that is within reason, that's not extremely expensive, because it, it is it is pretty expensive. Even if you like look at like, like a little piece like that is eight bucks. Is that say 350,000? 35,000. If I was a rich girl. No, 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 no. This is spectacular. We've dug for 22 years and we've hit one pocket like this. Yeah. And we've hit one pocket like this. And we've hit maybe Who are the, two who are the guys that were in Prospectors that mined this? The Bur uh, Doris. Doris, right. Doris the Doris. They got lucky a couple times, no? Oh, all the time. And, and this year it looks like it's really dry. There's like nobody here. Uh, I've talked to several dealers already who have had a really slow run here at the show. And you know, it's nice to support people like like these guys who are, are doing their own thing. You know it's clean material, you know people are gonna like it, so it, it doesn't hurt me to stop and take half an hour out of my day to try to get some decent stuff. So this, so far, this is what we've collected. It's this right here. It's a twister. You gotta get your hands dirty. You gotta, sh you gotta shut up. Might not be a good day for a song. <laughs> Then I opened up my eyes, I saw a down there. I'm here at Bodie's booth. He's mining amazonite with smoky quartz. Uh, I, I believe there's also Clevelandite in a lot of these yes, too, as well, right? Oh, and, and, and this is your big guy. This is the big one. 401k pocket. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And you mine this yourself? Yes. It took me three days to get it out because it was upside down. We didn't even know what we had. We were laying on our stomachs and I'd uh, do it and I could feel this. I said, man, that's going to be nice, smoky quartz. And I could feel it like that and I said, oh, those are Amazon. Yeah. Those are record size. They could be record size. And you mined this in 2017? Yes. But I, I think last time I talked to you, you said you weren't willing to part with it. And then you decided that you would if someone would give you what it's worth. Yeah, we would part with it. And, 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 what, and what is it? The, the cost of it is what? It's, it's been raised to 250000 But I can negotiate. Yeah. And I'll definitely so negotiate. That, that is the 401k. 401k. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, eventually it's going to happen because yeah. that's such a rare and beautiful rock. And it, it, how much time do you spend at the mine? As soon as this is over and we take a break for a day and get everything unloaded. We will be at the mine every day until the snow drives us out. Right, which is usually uh, November, could, like mid-November? Yeah, it could be sometimes December. And you're the sole Sir, person with the claim. I need your name right? and right. your... Um, yeah. Bodie, thank you so much. Thank you. Nice to see you. I hope yeah, I see bad. you next year again. We'll be here. Thank you so much, buddy. Uh, there, there's Caesar. i got to go handle that. Que pasa? Hello. Very good. Everything good? Everything good. Yeah? Slow? Slow. Looks like it. Hey. That is low. All right. Now that I'm here with you, so the problem we have is two problems. Mm -hmm. Number one, if the size is incorrect, they won't take it. Mm. And if the whole front is like like smashed on the major points, I can't sell it either. And like, for example, this is this is pretty good. 16 by 12. That's pretty good. You see, it's, it's like 16 by like eight. Don't work. Yeah, that's that's my problem. So now I have it. Yeah, but this has all the yellow. I know it's hard because the the miners they're gonna mine it whatever size they want. It's so I, I know I know it's not easy. Weird situation. Uh huh. That's it. Can we? Did you know what the size is? It, yeah, but also this piece is gar is look at the you know like I cannot give that to any this this is this is bad like this quality I can use this yet. this, this qu out the quality this quality I can use but again it's it just doesn't fit any size for me I mean this is the size that I need for my website so we sell it by the size so if if I if I sell the piece and someone gets the piece and it's not the size is it, that's the problem can I can we open can we can we check please Bernie. How much this was? Like 25, 20. See? So I'll take this one. Okay. Let's grab this and this. And if this fits the big size? It does. Okay, let's go. Thank you, man. Hey. No, no. Thank you. You're, You're welcome. We, we, it's not good for me, not good for you, but thank you for working with me. Thank you.
Okay. Don't hate me. Don't give me the bad looks. Uh, what's happening here is what I do from time to time is I contract people in South America to bring material with them to these shows, especially very specific material that I need for a specific cause. In this particular situation and instance, uh, we wound up having material brought over, but it wasn't the specific material that I requested. It wasn't exactly what I was looking for. I'm also supposed to have a shopping credit here of X amount of dollars from a previous mishap that wound up happening, uh, which we eventually came to you know, an unhappy medium. He wasn't happy, I wasn't happy, but we came to an agreement. You know, and that's, sometimes that's just part of the, the, the deal. You don't always win every time. If it's bad for both sides, if both sides leave unhappy from a situation, that's not always the worst news. And if both people leave happy from the, uh, the same situation, that's also. It's usually when one person's happy, one person's angry, that's typically where you get bad business. So we're in that situation. Caesar's a great guy. I've known him for 10 plus years. Uh, and he's been doing favors for me for a long time. You know, sometimes it's really difficult to get to the mines and pick up material, and uh, a lot of these guys will help me out with that. They'll get the truck, they'll go to the mine. Of course, I pay for it, but they'll get trucks, they'll go to the mines, they'll pick up the material, but sometimes what happens is, is they damage the material in transit, or they destroy the material in shipping, or whatever it is, and that's how we wound up in this kind of situation to begin with, but happy resolve, happily ever after. This is fucked up. Every year it's getting worse, huh? Every year. Just down. What's the, what's the booth? After, what? after the COVID. What's the booth? The booth this booth cost what? 15,000? 16. 16,000. That's hard. You pay for the booth, you pay for the shipment, you pay for the flights, storage, for the car, food, flights, flying, tickets, uh, house, gear. It's so expensive to be here. They're like 30,000. Uh, I think more. Because we have a shipment. We ship from Brazil. You ship by air though? By boat and by air. One part by air, one part by boat. How do you, how do you line up the boat arriving on time? Because it could be probably, there could be like the boat can arrive whenever it wants to arrive. I don't know. Yes, but I, I ship one month before the show by boat. Yeah. Great. Brother, I gotta. I have so much. Going. I'm sorry. No problem. I'm so sorry, you did. Yo, wow. Oh yeah. shit. Uh oh. What's up? How are you? Good. To see you. This is like some cool stuff. This computer. So if we're shooting it down the middle, I don't need any of this material. But there's a few guys who are really, really good human beings. Take this one. I don't know what the hell that is. That's a, this is some like sort of like titted, winged creature. The shows are so slow and so tough, so if there's something we can do to support good people, then that's kind of what I'll do. Okay, I'm looking at the trends, I'm looking at what people are interested in, I'm looking at what people are selling. If you got any more of those titted freaks, I'm interested. Which one? The titted freak, half unicorn slash winged creature. Oh. With titties. But while I'm here, people that I've known for 10, 12, 13 years even, if I can support and take some stuff from, from him, I will. Yeah. Did you find one in here? I, I found one. Yeah, I don't know what I did with it though. I lost it. I, I haven't even gone through all this very well. Yeah, the titties. So. The, 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 <laughs> uh, that's what I'm doing right now, is trying to see if there's anything here that I can actually take. I feel like I have to take this. Look, at, look how crazy these pieces are. This is like hematite stalactite with Druze. This is fucking, this is wild. Oh, is that it right there? There it is. There it is. Oh, okay. Makes more sense now? Yes. I want to be free inside. You want to be free inside? Yeah. That's very nice. But we have so much and nobody buys it. This is pretty cool. Where's my bottle? Thanks, bro. Thank you, brother. No oh, problem. What's up? What's up? It's hot. It's slow. Mm -hmm. Nice to see you. How's it going? Hot. Hot. Slow. Ah. Uh, it's kind of sad because there's some really good people here who are like really taking a bath, which it's, I've been saying it for the last couple of years between here and Tucson. It's like there's nobody here and anybody who is here is like penny pinching. Anta, how are you? I haven't seen you in so long. Hey. What's yes. up, girl? How are you? Good. Ooh, long Where have you time. been? How are you? Good. 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 How's it going? Good. You busy? Yeah. So so. This show is getting slow, right? What's up, my lady? How are you? I'm so sweaty. I have a swamp going on. 
What's the price? Come tell me, come tell me. That is... Uh, this is Guerrero, right? Yes. How, how do you... Guerrero. Ge Guerrero. Guerrero. How, what's the price? Ge Ge Guerrero. Guerrero. Oh, that's per piece. Si. Oh shit. So this is like, oh, I, this is Keystone. Si. Alright, this is three hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, I don't need like a low price first. I just, I need to be able to resell stuff. This one. Yeah. Alfonso. Alfonso is stoned Al right now. No, Alfonso loves to be on the. Alfonso. <laughs> Alfonso is in the zone right now. I mean, it's, it's just, it's, everything is just so expensive this year. I know. Everything I've run into. The show, the cost of being here. The hotel, the food. Everything is just so expensive. All right, let me think about what, what I want to do. I mean, I'll be, I'll be back tomorrow. I come okay. in this way, so I'll see you. Okay, we'll I see you tomorrow. I hope you had a great show so I far. Have. I can't complain. Good, thank God. All right. Thank God. Bye, my girl. Bye-bye, girl. Bye, Bye, beautiful. I love your hair. Oh, thank you. Bye. <laughs> she was talking <laughs> She's talking to Bernie. The general consensus here is that a lot of people are not coming back next year to do this because it's so slow. But also at the same time, it's like people are not here to sell really. People the prices that are on stuff is not it's not stuff is not priced to sell. Price price prices are are, are really, really high. So, I mean, unless you own like a high-end retail shop, it'd be hard for you to shop here uh, at these shows, in my opinion. I mean, of course, you're gonna find little nuggets here and there. Uh, you know, as far as, uh, you know, my, my concern after, once we finish walking this whole show, I probably won't even have one pallet worth of material. So, monetarily, it's not totally worth it to come out here. Uh, unless you're gonna spend, I would say, minimum of like, you know, coming out here with $15,000 budget would be like the minimum you should be coming out here with. But spending that 15K is gonna be so hard because there's really not much to buy.